What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the Radio Masters TX16S. Now it is the multi-color version of the TX16S transmitter in which I have here the gold color version with the gold color CNC aluminum upgrades and the premium leather hand grips. Now it is an upgrade to the popular TX16S, the full size 2.4 gigahertz multi protocol RF system, 16 channel transmitter with OpenTX firmware. It is available in the carbon fiber version, the silver and black version, and the gold version. The CNC aluminum parts upgrade will be available in the black color, silver color, gold color, burgundy, and perhaps purple color will also be added. It will weigh in at 736 grams without the battery. Now the batteries recommended are two 18650 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries and the battery tray is included. Now there's also the double 21750 battery pack that you can use. It is a 5000 milliamp 7.4 volt lithium ion pack made specifically for the radio master transmitter that has an XT30 connector for easy crossfire TX hookup. Or it can be used with any 7.4 volt 2S LiPo battery that will fit in the battery compartment. Now here I'm using an old 900 milliamp 7.4 volt LiPo battery. All it needs is a 2S balance connector to power up the transmitter. So the transmitter has a built-in 1.5 amp USB-C battery charging port on the bottom of the transmitter and it has battery management system built in. It is almost identical to the original TX16S except it comes in multi colors. So if you are interested in the TX16S but haven't gotten one yet, you now have many more decisions to make. Now in my opinion, the TX16S is one of the best transmitters out there and it will bind to almost any RC models due to the multi-protocol internal RF module. So it is just $10 more from the original version, which is $149. So the price is $159 for the multi-color versions. Now it is equivalent to the Hall sensor gimbal version with the 4.3 inch color touch panel display. Now it does not come with the CNC parts upgrades pre-installed and the premium leather hand grips. Those will be available very soon to purchase separately. So the CNC parts upgrades will contain the power button slash the neck strap hook combo, the gimbal face plates, and the system, the model, and the functional buttons, as well as the scroll wheel, the dial knobs, which are now bigger so it is easier to grip compared to those cheaper plastic ones. All two and three position switch locking nuts. The foldable carry handle which is now solid aluminum and very very nice and huge. Now remember I upgraded my original TX16S with the T16 folding handle. Well, I didn't like it at all, so I returned it and replaced it with the original handle that came with the TX16S. So a very nice upgrade to the handle. Now it folds and it is solid aluminum. Now also the gimbal sticks themselves are an upgrade. They are now slightly shorter due to them being able to screw down further. So the travel distance is just right compared to the original TX16S, which came with those silver ones that didn't go all the way down. So the travel was really far. And of course the premium leather hand grips. This is the brown color 
they also come with the cowboy colors to choose as well. Now I've done an antenna mod on the original TX16S and used the antenna hole that was already on the project box for an SMA connector instead of removing the original antenna. So I'm able to easily go back to the original antenna if I wanted to. So all I did was remove the original IPEX connector for the original antenna and added a pigtail cable with an SMA connector. Drill the hole through the back plate and the project box to guide the cable through to the project box so the hole is hidden from view. Fasten the SMA connector and secure the cable. A very easy mod if you want to switch to another type of antenna or if you want to use a signal booster to increase range. However, the new multicolor versions come with a flat cover instead of a project box. So if you want to mod the original antenna like the way I did it using the project box, you will need to get a project box, which is available separately by the way now, or you can remove the original antenna and affix the SMA connector right here. But if you are going to be using a crossfire system, then there will be no issues. It fits perfectly in there, especially the crossfire micro. All right, so let's power it on. Welcome to OpenTX. As you can hear, the volume is now louder than the original TX16S. So let me just go ahead and compare it and show you how loud the TX16S was originally. And that is the full volume as well. So they have addressed all of the minor details that was somewhat of an issue with the original TX16S and corrected the problem on the new model here, especially the gimbal sticks. Now the firmware interface is identical OpenTX firmware interface we are accustomed to, just like the original TX16S. Now I'm not gonna go through all of the pages of the interface. So if you want to see how it is laid out, check out my video of the original TX16S where I do flip through all of the interface of the pages and I'll leave the link right up here as well. Now mine came with some models already configured including an FR Sky D60 model and some other models. And it also came with a preloaded micro SD card. So it came ready to use right out of the box. So instead of setting up a new model for a quad cutter, I already have the D16 model already set up right out of the box. Let's go ahead and set up a new model so that we can use the new TX16S on a simulator. So long pressing the wheel and create a model. I'm just gonna back up all the way to the front page and hit the model button. And we have model 09. So I'm just going to scroll down. And here we have the internal RF, which is off, as well as the external RF, which is off. But if you were to set up a new model, of course, you will choose the internal RF and scroll through the multi and choose the protocol that you want. But to use this transmitter in a simulator, you need both of the internal RF and the external RF on the off position. So we're going to back up and your model for a simulator is set up. All right, guys. So here we are on the laptop and we got the lift off simulator started and here's the transmitter so what you want to do is connect the USB-C cable to the top USB-C port and not the one on the bottom because the one on the bottom is for charging purposes only the one down here so I got the USB-C connected to the transmitter I'm going to power it up before I connect the USB to Welcome the to computer. 
So let's go ahead and hook it up to the computer now. And it is going to prompt you USB joystick or USB storage. I'm going to hit USB joystick. And the computer has recognized the transmitter being plugged in. So let's go ahead and choose a flight. But first, what I needed to do was I needed to create a new model. As you can see, it is model 10. I had to erase the other model. Now, the reason why is because nothing was working and the sticks were all reversed. So what I had to do was go back into the system menu and scroll over to the settings on the system menu, scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to scroll up instead to go to the bottom. So where it says AETR, I have to change it to T-A-E-R and then back out and then go into the model setup and model select and go ahead and set up a new model and that is exactly what I did here. So this model will have a T-A-E-R stick input and that is the model that we have chosen so it will work. If you leave it on the AETR and set up a model it will not work on the lift off simulator I have found out. So let's go ahead and select the flight and choose a venue I like the golf course venue here let it load up all right we are ready to go there we go Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Just like the other TX-16S, which I use on this simulator a lot because of the Lotus sticks, which are very comfortable. These regular sticks, they are really nice. They are really comfortable, especially now that it is shortened from the original version of the TX-16S. But... They still hurt your fingers if you constantly use it, especially in a simulator situation. So a Lotus stick end really helps out when you are trying to play for a long time and on a simulator, you know, you don't have to change out the batteries. So you constantly just, whoops, keep flying. And one thing about the simulator that is awesome is you can go through the branches and still survive. So the sticks feel really nice, but I highly recommend the FR Sky QX7S's uh, Lotus stick ends. They are really, really nice, especially like I said, on a simulator. And it is feeling right at home already. Very nice. Yeah, you can make all kinds of mistakes here and still be good. Yep, all kinds of mistakes. <laughs> Alright guys, so that'll do it for this video of the Radio Masters TX-16S with the multicolor versions and the CNC machined parts. So if you want to check out any of the products that was mentioned in this video for yourself, I'll provide all the links down below in the video description below. So with that said, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.
Woo!